but there are again some limitations and some things missing. For example, um, the chat, the the chat AIs that can write you an essay or give you a you know five hundred words of information, they have biases built into them. Uh, a lot of them will will you know, like somebody had to decide what information they are going to survey in order to, to, to deliver their product. And on one level, the bias is, well, maybe only mainstream sources. So like, have you ever looked up, say, UFOs on Wikipedia or homeopathy on Wikipedia or pretty much anything controversial? It'll say, oh, it's pseudoscience and quackery, you know. And Wikipedia is more like kind of an extreme version of what the general official reality is. So one of the limitations on these AI chats or AI these AI tools for accessing information, and which would also be a limitation on the neural link, is that it gives you biased information or it gives you um, a, a information from a certain realm, a certain reality. I um, wonder if reality and realm actually have a common origin. I think they do, uh, the words. Um, so AI is not going to be able to question its own premises in that way. So here's now a human being like can say, okay, yeah, I know the biases of this. And I'm going to take that into account. So here's a aspect of our intellectual sovereignty that um, we can hold and not surrender to the AI. So that's one level of bias, you know, like official information and dissident information. Like what if you ask the chat GPT about, you know, vaccine safety or something like that, what is it going to say? But then there's another level of even like what kind of information can even go on the internet in the first place. And it, this is what we were talking about at the beginning. Like what about the information that comes uh, non-verbally? And what about our like aspects of our cognition that are not verbal? Like, how do we communicate that? Like, those things that we are very, very far from reducing to data. Uh, the experience of being in a field of love. Can you download that on your Neuralink, you know, or on your computer? Um, and actually, kind of, yes. Like, like, a book, you know, to take an earlier technology, can carry a vibration of love. But it's not because it has sufficiently analyzed love. It's not translated love into um, semantic information, you know, symbols. It's in the way that the symbols were chosen. And I think that that possibility, I mean, you know, I write things on the internet. They're not books anymore. Um, but, you know, they, they, they carry a vibration. And maybe even someone who programs a chat AI can infuse it with something. So I don't want to like say that these tools have no possibility of carrying something else on their vehicle that is beyond the analytic content 